while it is very important for you to have your own technique, it's equally important for you to know the math behind. Let's show the math behind the FOIL method when multiplying two binomial expressions. The FOIL method is a mnemonic technique used to find the product of two binomial expressions. The process can be summed up into two different parts. Number one, we are going to multiply pairs of terms. And second, we are just going to add the resulting products. Consider the given expression. Step one stands for the acronym FOIL. F is where we multiply the first terms of each binomial. O stands for the product of the outer terms. Then we have I, which is the product of the inner terms in the given expression. As for L, we are just going to multiply the last terms. We simply get the product of each pairs of these terms. And then for step two, we are just going to add the four different results. Finally, the result is x squared plus x minus two. But do you know the math behind the FOIL method? The math behind the FOIL method is the distributive property. Multiplying these two binomials allows us first to distribute the first binomial expression to all the terms inside the second binomial expression. We are going to distribute x plus 2 to x and then to negative 1. Now that we have these forms, we need to apply another set of distributive property. The monomial expressions x and negative 1 will be both distributed to the binomial x plus 2. And by doing that, we will have these four pairs of terms. To differentiate them, we are just separating them by addition. From here, if we are going to cover the second step, here we can see the first pair of terms looks like picking up the first two terms of the binomial expressions x and x and multiplying them. Now jumping to the third pair, we could see that it looks like we are multiplying the outer terms x and negative 1 of the given binomial expressions. The second pair of terms looks like taking out the second term of the first binomial expression 2 and the first term of the second binomial expression, which is x. And finally, the last pair of terms looks like the product of the two last terms of each binomial expressions. With this, the use of the multiple distributive property covers the mnemonic technique FOIL method. But we are not yet done. Look at the operations separating each pairs of terms. See, the terms are just added. This is why FOIL method is a shortcut of multiple distributive property when multiplying two binomial expressions. This is the math behind your FOIL method. Hello everyone, please watch out for more math behind videos.